G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about vMix presets. Presets allow you to save your vMix production as you create it. So just like if you were writing a document or creating a video tutorial, you wanna be able to save it as you go along. So if you wanna make any changes and you wanna save it, you can go ahead and do that in your production preset. Presets are also handy for moving to a different vMix installation. So for example, if you've been working on something on one computer, you can pack up all of your assets into a folder and save your preset ready to be used on another vMix computer. The preset file will also include a lot of your vMix settings as well, such as your streaming, recording and overlay settings, local shortcuts and activators, category labels and data sources, just to name a few. I'll link our help guide to the list of the settings that are saved in the description. As you can see, I built a small production here with a few of my favorite things like ducks, rain showers and toast. And what I wanna do is be able to save this production and use it on another computer. So in order to use the preset section in vMix, we just need to head up to the top left-hand corner. Right at the top here in the title bar, you'll see what kind of vMix I'm using, uh, what my version is, and the name of the preset if I've saved it. So as you can see here, I've saved this one as presets tutorial and they're a .vmix file. First things first, in the preset menu up the top, you'll see the new button. So if I click on that, it's going to give me the ability to create a brand new blank preset. So I can select a preset from the drop down menu here and then click OK. So that's going to create a brand new preset and that's handy if you just wanna start from scratch with a new preset in vMix. Now, if I wanted to make some changes to the production and then save the preset, all I need to do is click on the save button. So if I click the save button here, I can then choose to overwrite the existing preset like I have here and then click save and then agree to that. Or I could create a new preset if I wanted to. Now, usually if I'm building a big production, say for our vMix Funtime Live show, I actually like to save them incrementally so that I can go back to an old one if I don't like what I've done. So quite often for our live show, I'll make five or six different versions depending on what sort of crazy stuff I'm trying to show uh, for that production. So I might have September 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that means I can go back to one where I split off and started making different changes. But if you don't plan on doing too much experimenting like that and want to have different versions of the same production, uh, then saving it as the same name will be fine. So if I wanted to open up a preset on the same computer, all I need to do is go up here and click open, and then I can find it, select it, and then it will open up that preset in vMix. Now the presets will also show recent presets. So this little arrow here, I can select one of the previous presets that I've saved and used here in vMix. Now next to the save button is a last button up here. Now this is more an emergency sort of preset. So periodically vMix automatically saves the current preset to a separate last file. So if you wanted to load up that last file, you can click on this here. Now this isn't meant to be relied on though. Uh, it's usually meant for emergencies only. So it's a last resort if something goes wrong with your computer or something and it shuts down uh, and you want to be able to go back to the last thing you were working on. It will typically save around every 30 seconds. Now next to that is a thing that's not quite there yet, but let's just say I close down this image, a little undo button will appear here. So if I click this, uh, it will bring back a, an input that I have closed if I want to bring that back. Okay, so now we're going to look at how we can move our production and preset to a new computer. Now I can do that by copying the preset file and all the assets that I have set up. Now my recommendation is to create a folder on your computer and then place all of your media assets into it and also save your preset file to it as well. Then all you need to do is move that folder to the other computer and then load up the preset and it's going to associate all of those files to that preset and you'll be able to see them all in your production. So here's a folder that I have set up for my vMix production today. Uh, it's called Presets Tutorial and in that I've got a folder for my recordings because I'm doing this tutorial and I also have a folder here called vMix Content. So if you take a quick look in here, you'll see that I've got my Presets Tutorial .vmix file. So that's my preset there. And I've also got my image and my video files in my production in this folder. So all I need to do now is copy this to a flash drive, a network store, or perhaps even Dropbox, and then download that and save that to the local computer that I wanna move it to. So what I'm gonna do now is do that 
to this USB's USB drive. So I'm gonna paste this in here. So that's going to move across uh, my preset and my files. All right, so I'm actually going to do this in real time. So I'm going to go and get this USB. I should have ejected this properly, but I'm just gonna do this. So I have my vMix USB, and I'm now going to bring it to my laptop, which is right here on the desk. I'm going to insert it here. And I'm gonna copy across those files to this laptop. So I'm just gonna copy this to uh, the desktop just to make it easier. Okay, so that's moved that, those across. All right, so now if I wanna open that in vMix, I'm just gonna open up vMix as you can see here. And then what I can do is go to open up the top and then I can find that. So that was on the desktop, vMix content, and then my presets tutorial presets file, and then click OK. Okay, so this is going to bring up a new window here. Now, when you import a preset into vMix, you have two ways of doing it. First of all, you can just open up the preset with everything that you've saved. So for example, in my production here for this tutorial, it's gonna bring across absolutely everything. So all of the media assets and all of the overlay, recording, streaming settings, all that kind of stuff is going to be brought in and opened up onto this vMix production. Now, sometimes you might not wanna bring all of the settings across. You might not wanna bring all of the production. You might have a production half done and you wanna bring across some other ones from a different production. You can use the append option for that. So for example, if I had an existing production that I already had assets and that sort of thing on, and I just wanted to add certain parts of this uh, preset, all I need to do is select those. So I could unselect all of them if I wanted to, and then just add these particular video files to my production. And that will append or add onto my other production that I already have. So once I've selected those, I can just click append down the bottom. Now keep in mind that if you do use the append option, uh, it won't bring across the settings. It's only going to bring across those media assets. So your recording, streaming, overlay settings won't get brought across. It'll just be the media assets that you've selected. Now, because I want to bring across my entire production that I've saved, what I wanna do is make sure that I've got all of these selected and then click open. So that's gonna bring across all of these media assets. And it's also going to bring across the preset settings. Now, if there were a couple of these things that I didn't want, for example, like these capture devices, or a video, I could unselect them and still click open. So I'm just gonna make sure all of these are selected because I wanna bring them all across and then just click open down the bottom. So my preset has now been brought over and opened up on this laptop. And as you can see, my production here is ready to go. It's the same one I was working on before. I've saved it and I've moved it across to this computer. Now you will notice that a few things didn't come across and those will be capture devices and audio devices. Now that's because obviously I don't have the same capture device in here on this computer. And also a lot of capture devices, even though they may have the same name, they work slightly differently. So the chances are they're not going to pop up even if you have the same equipment. So you will need to just add them again. And you can use that by going to the change menu. So for this camera, for example, now I don't actually need any of these other options here. So I'm gonna close down this desktop capture, laptop, um, and this camera here. Now I just wanna add a camera that I've got pointing at me right here as a substitute for this Blackmagic one. So what I'm gonna do is go into the settings here and you'll notice up the top here it now says offline. So it says offline Decklink 8K Pro 1, which is this camera that I'm working on right here. So I wanna be able to add a different camera for it. So I'm gonna click change in the top right hand corner and then I'm gonna go through and select the camera that I wanna use. So it's this, uh, Magewell 4K dongle that I've got on this laptop. Then I'm going to click OK. So as you can see now, my camera has been changed. So I'm now using this camera right here uh, instead of the Blackmagic one, but it brings across all of the same settings. So as you can see here, uh, my double box, it's replaced my Blackmagic one with this camera here. So it's the same uh, settings and everything like that. It's just been changed from the Blackmagic capture card to this Magewell one that I have on my production. So now I can start doing stuff, I could record this and do another tutorial with the exact same production. So all of the settings are the same. So it's brought across triggers that I had to set up on this one. I haven't touched this production as you can see here. So yeah, that is, uh, that's good to go. Uh, and that's how you can open up a preset on a, another computer. So one last thing I'll go over is vMix settings. So the preset settings will bring across things specifically to this preset, like local shortcuts, overlays, uh, recording and streaming settings and that sort of thing. If you did wanna bring across your entire vMix settings, you can go into settings up the top right hand corner here and then import export your vMix settings. So that will include information down here that's not particularly associated with a preset, but associated with your entire vMix setup.
Okay, so that's presets in vMix. Now, as you build your production, remember to re incrementally save as you go along, so you always have your latest production ready. Now, as presets bring across things like streaming settings, recording settings, overlays, and all that kind of stuff, if you're moving your production to a new computer and you don't want these accessible to either the production or someone else, uh, then make sure that you delete them and then save them as a new preset before you move them over. So if you do have any questions, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com as it's really hard to answer YouTube comments when we need diagnostic reports and that sort of stuff from vmix. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vmix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.